Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you already subscribed, then welcome back. So let me tell you what happened a few days ago. So I was driving my scooter the day before. Everything go well. And then the next morning, I'm trying to um, take my scooter somewhere again. And guess what happened? I turn it on, it start the scooter start, it's crank up, start flying, and then for 20 seconds later, it just shut down. And I try to start again, but this time it's shorter, like about maybe 5 seconds, and then it shut down again. And then I try to start for the third time, it's keep cranking and cranking, and nothing happened, and it just won't turn on again. So I did uh, some troubleshooting and um, well I did replace the battery a couple of weeks ago so I, che I also checked the battery, the battery was fine. I checked um, the spark on the spark plug and was fine. Um, I checked on the fuel line and see if any fuel go down into the carburetor and I did saw the um, it did ha happen. Uh, the fuel did go into the carburetor. I saw th the fuel uh, did did have the flowing uh, inward, so so the fuel is fine. But nothing happened. Crank it. Nothing happened. So my only option is um, to see if. Uh, m well, my guess is uh, now the only option I have is uh, maybe the carburetor itself is bad. So uh, what I did is um, I went to the the BMS uh, website, the manufacturer uh, for my BMS uh, scooter, and um, trying to um, buy a, a carburetor from their website. Uh, so I did. Uh, I did went to the website, check it out, and the carburetor cost eighty five dollars. And uh, Plus the shipping and everything total about maybe uh, ninety five to hundred bucks. So I think it was a little expensive. So what I did is I went to Amazon.com and trying to search for a um, a one hundred fifty cc uh, scooter uh, carburetor, and I found one. Oh, well, there's a whole bunch of them, but the one I bought is only eighteen dollar. And since I have Amazon Prime, so it's uh, free shipping. So uh, eighteen dollar plus tax um, was about twenty, twenty, twenty-one dollar. So I bought it, got it shipped to my house two days later, and uh, I install in. And guess what? Lo and behold, crank it up, screw the work, start fine run perfectly for for last two day I've been trying and uh, I guess my problem is fixed now I own my scooter for almost three year and a half so I guess uh, corporator go bad for Chinese scooter uh, I mean what I expect right it's not a Japanese scooter or something like that, so I guess it's fine. I mean, I'm wasting twenty-one dollars for for another uh, carburetor. It's fine. Uh, I don't I, I I don't have any problem with that because it was only twenty-one dollar. And um, this is the old scooter um, carburetor, Danny. So this uh, carburetor is supposed to be made in Japan, so it's supposed to be reliable, but I guess not. Um, I did open this up and check and see if is there any like you know uh, maybe uh, dust or something like that uh, blocking all the port. I opened up everything very clean and I did try to use a blower or anything like that and see if any dust falling out from all those ports and nothing is super clean. So my guess is the problem with this thing is not the carburetor itself but the automatic choke right here so maybe the choke is bad the choke is bad that's why I didn't send the correct signal to the um, 
little carburetor so that's why I have been having problem with the, uh, the starting uh, issue so I'm just keeping this so we can video this but after this I'm gonna mm, trash this because I don't need it anymore and uh, my $18 um, carburetor is working fine right now now everything every time I turn it on it turn on it's crank up fine the engine run fine uh, I took my scooter out for a couple of days already so it's proof that it's working it proof that the carburetor is bad so I guess uh, the problem is fixed for um, $21 $18 plus tax $21 uh, out of my pocket is it's not bad it's not bad for a price um, but you know I, I kind of feel a little bit bad that you know um, the BMS website uh, that's selling this part is uh, so expensive and plus their shipping is expensive too so you know um, I guess the way they think is you know um, because their part is uh, high quality that's why it's more expensive than a regular one but a high quality or not you know it's still going now after three years so if you have the same problem I have you know um, make sure you check the carburetor because um, that's what happened to me and um, replacing this is, is extremely easy it's only take you about uh, only take me about like 10 or 15 minutes um, you want to make it a little easier if you take out the whole seat so you got more room to work on but all you do is um, basically you just uh, this couple of port that you need to take it out and uh, and then uh, the plug and the two uh, intakes exhaust and intake port and basically that's it and the gas uh, that's it so it's pretty simple to put in you know um, like I said it's only take me 10 or 15 minutes so um, I, I'm not a mechanic you know but I can do it so I guess anyone can do it so um, that's the update and uh, this is uh, the first time that uh, um, my scooter have a breakdown so I just want you to know and uh, I will let you uh, update I will update uh, and let you know more if uh, the new carburetor is running to problem but within a few days uh, running fine so uh, so hopefully it will stay that way and uh, lucky for me you know it's uh, the problem happened at my house so uh, so it's not bad you know so uh, you imagine that uh, if uh, I could imagine you know if that happened to me on uh, the road and uh, I'll be stuck on the road and then uh, I have to ask uh, or to get uh, uh, someone to tow my uh, scooter home and that would be even more problem so uh, I feel that I'm very lucky so and I was able to uh, solve or fix this problem uh, anyways uh, I will give you an update uh, if uh, something else happened with the new carburetor but um, but we have to see uh, well, this is the end of this video, so uh, I'll see you guys next time.